This is a historic moment for Keely Hodgkinson, as she claims her first outdoor gold with an 800-meter European Championships win. After coming second in the World Championships last year, Keely has finally achieved what she set out to do and proven herself as one of the best runners in the world. Keely Hodgkinson wins her first major outdoor gold medal in the 800-meter European Championships. Keely Hodgkinson of Great Britain claimed her first major outdoor gold medal with a victory in the 800 meters at the European Championships in Munich. Hodgkinson, who had won silver in the indoor event at the same championship, Championships ran 1 minute 59.04 seconds to take the gold medal. She is the first British woman to win the 800 meter European title in 20 years. The Briton won comfortably ahead of Renelle Lamotte after bursting clear with 200 meters to go in Munich. Hodgkinson crossed the finish line in first place with a time of 1 minute 59.04 seconds. She later said that she was happy about her win and she wants to win a world indoor medal as she is yet to win one. I think you can tell I was very happy to come here and finally get on top of the podium, said Hodgkinson after the win. There is a great team around me that has helped me all season. It has been a hard year mentally, but we've made it to the end with a gold and two silvers, so I'm really happy. Trying to get that gold helped. I think it's about trying to forget and move on from it. Now I can go home with three medals. I couldn't be happier. There's still a world indoor medal that I don't have yet, and I still have a lot of silvers, so we're going to try and get some golds. I've still got a long way to go. France's Renel Lamotte was a little under half a second behind to claim silver, and Poland's Anna Wilgotz secured third. Next, in other related news, a huge mural of gold medalists Keely Hodgkinson unveiled in her hometown. Keely Hodgkinson's hometown of Atherton unveiled a mural of her. Organizers believe the artwork on Church Street will inspire local youth. Keely 20 has become a hometown hero because of her achievements as an 800-meter runner, winning gold at the European Championships and silver at the Tokyo Olympics. Atherton residents have shared the mural's progress all week. Keely, on vacation, missed the reveal but visited the location before leaving. Keely's mom Rachel stated, It's just amazing. Keely feels like it's an honor. Her hometown wall means a lot to her. It demonstrates Demonstrates her hard work is appreciated. I hope all the kids who pass by realize, if she can do it, why can't I? The artwork honors Keeley's story, Atherton's heritage, and Lee and Tildesley. Margaret and Joe Galvin, who coached Keeley at Lee Harriers and Athletic Club, are on the mural's right side. The mural's town hall clock is set at 20:22, 8:22 p.m. This is the year Keeley won European gold. The parish church is set to 7:10 p.m. or 19:10 as a reference to the nearby Pretoria pit disaster. Council and local businesses gathered around a projector. The residents associate and Community Trust funded the mural. Keeley is a young woman who has achieved so much in sports, culminating in her European medal, said Councillor John Harding, who coordinated the project and contacted street artist Kelzo. We have many outstanding sports. Seeing someone with a top medal is inspiring for children, and given its size, it won't go away. Dina Asher Smith frustrated after pulling up injured with cramp in European Championships 100-meter final. A displeased Dina Asher Smith was forced to quit midway through the 100-meter race, while Zarnell Hughes succeeded in taking home the silver medal as he attempted to defend his crown. Asher Smith revealed after the race in Munich that she was experiencing cramps in both calves. She missed the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham owing to an injury. She told BBC, I can't be jogging on two cramping calves, which is insane. I started strong, feel great, and am in great shape, which is why I'm annoyed and disappointed. Despite significantly slowing down, Asher Smith finished the race in 16.03 seconds. In the women's final, Gina Lukenkemper equaled her season-best time of 10.99 to win gold in front of a home crowd. Mujinga Kambunchi of Switzerland won the silver medal, and Daryl Nita of Great Britain won the bronze. Meanwhile, Lamont Marcel Jacobs, a strong favorite to win the Olympics, defeated Hughes in his effort to defend his 100-meter European Championships crown. With a time of 9.99, Hughes won the silver medal, while fellow Brit Jeremiah Azu took home the bronze with a personal best. In 9.95 seconds, Jacobs set a new championship record and was the first to the finish line. Brit Rhys Prescott came in eighth. They didn't believe I could do it. Richard Lee Wright, the viral sensation who led the London Marathon. Many have questioned whether or not they could run fast enough to take the lead in the London Marathon from the beginning. On Sunday, Richard Lee Wright provided a resounding answer of yes, as he sprinted away at the start, much to the amusement of those watching. As race favorites settled into their early pace, onlookers saw Devon's runner zooming behind the official race vehicle. He began punching the air once he was sure he was free of the field, fulfilling his promise to his buddies six years earlier. It all started about six years ago. A pal and I were watching the London Marathon when he said, without a doubt, that they run incredibly quickly. Lee Wright told the Metro. I said to him, I might be able to lead the London Marathon. He said it was out of the question. I told people for years that I would do this, and they all laughed at me and said I couldn't do it. My arm went up in the air, signifying that my dream had come true, I'd finally made it. To catch up to and pass the elites, I had to push my way towards the front of them. I wasn't going to stop until I was number one, and if Usain Bolt would have been running too, I would have gone for him. Unsurprisingly, he paid for his early efforts by slowing down to 3 hours and 23 minutes. Amos Capruto, the winner of Kenya's men's race, crossed the finish 
line in 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 39 seconds. Lee Wright's efforts will undoubtedly have inspired a passionate following who may attempt the same trick in the future. Not so fast. Fancy giving it a go? To be eligible for a front-of-the-line privileges, runners must finish a sub-2 hour, 40-minute marathon. Marathon world record holder Elliot Kipchoge urges Mo Farah not to retire as Brit's 40th birthday approaches. Elliot Kipchoge stated that Mo Farah still has much to give to athletics as he grows closer to his 40th birthday. Farah has only raced seven times in the past three years and was recently forced to drop out of the London Marathon due to an injured hip. Farah announced that he has been experiencing pain and tightness in his right hip for the past 10 days, but after treatment, the issue persists. This is a major disappointment for the 39-year-old Farah, who won the big half earlier this month and was training to make his fourth marathon appearance in London at first since 2019. Kipchoge, who lowered his marathon time to 2 hours and 1 minute 9 seconds in Berlin, strongly believes that Farah has more potential. Kipchoge, who is currently in London to observe the marathon, said, I hope he recovers quickly from his injury, as stated by The Guardian. According to Kipchoge, part of being an elite athlete is enduring injuries. His advice is to recover and come back stronger than before. Mo Farah has a lot more in store. I believe he will return even stronger. The training is there, and once he has recovered, he'll be able to show the world what lies within him. Age is just a number. If you train hard and stay focused on your objectives, you can go on to achieve greater things. Mo can still win the best races if he trains well and focuses his efforts in the right direction. World record holder Iliud Kipchoge, all set for the London Marathon. Eliud Kipchoge will be at this weekend's London Marathon for different reasons than competing, less than a week after breaking his own world record at the Berlin Marathon. On Saturday, before the main event on Sunday, Kipchoge will hand out medals to the winners of age group competitions. The double Olympic champion has won the London Marathon four times and is now its ambassador. Kipchoge said to the race's website, I fully support the London Marathon's initiative to run for people of all ages. I see running as a family activity because it is life. It will bring our children joy, happiness, and good health. Our children are the future, so let us all come together and do this. Saturday's races involve thousands of kids aged 4 to 17 with different abilities who will participate in either 2.6K or 1-mile events on the same finishing stretch as the TCS London Marathon course. TCS will give each student who finishes 10 pounds, 1,300 SH per participant, to spend on PE or IT equipment, a free laptop. We are ecstatic that Eliud, our four-time champion, will join us this weekend, said Hugh Brasher, event director of the TCS London Marathon. He is the goat of marathon running and will be a great source of motivation for everyone taking part in the TCS Mini London Marathon on Saturday. Throughout the years, outstanding athletes such as Laura Muir, Keely Hodgkinson, Josh Kerr, and even Sir Mo Farah, who won the Mini Marathon three times, got their start by participating in the Mini London Marathon. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below telling us what you think about this video. We'll see you at the next one. We appreciate you watching and hope to see you then.